everyone, welcome to another Niall and Raya YouTube video. Today we are reading The Prince's Breakfast for Storytime Sunday. Yay! Hope you enjoy! The Prince's Breakfast. In a faraway kingdom a long time ago, when breakfast was served, the prince shouted, No! He turned up his nose at omelets with cheese. He poo-pooed the porridge, though his mother said, please. He sipped his hot chocolate. He ate his toast dry. But to all other offerings, he said, no, not I. Alas, said the queen to her husband, the king. How can, we, how can he grow when he won't eat a thing? The king stirred his tea. Then, after one sip, I have it, he said. We shall go on a trip. The very next day, preparations were started, and in less than a week, the royal household departed. They journeyed in style to the city of Agra. Our, uh, our idlis are moist, being the grand Maharaja. His chef steamed the rice cakes with chutney on top. The king started eating and just couldn't stop. So good, he declared. Have a taste, boy. Just try. But the prince shook his head and said, No, not I. Perhaps, said their host, a dosa will do. We can fill it with dal or potatoes for you. The queen took one forkful. The king sampled two. Delicious, they said. Just try a few. The spices are perfect. Come, don't be shy. But the prince shook his head and said, No, not I. So the king declared, To the west we shall go. He rolled a, a map and announced, Mexico! On the pier, people shouted, Hello, buenos dias! And welcomed them warmly with trays of tortillas. Fried eggs, avocados, salsa, and cheese. Por favor, said the king. I'll have more, if you please. Muy bien, said the queen. Why don't you try? But the prince shook his head and said, no, not I. What shall we do now? The queen said with a sigh. My dear, said the king, we shall go to Shanghai. They stayed at the home of a rich Mandarin. My chefs, he declared, can indulge every whim. We've prepared a fine breakfast we hope you'll enjoy. There is something for everyone, even your boy. Does the, does the prince care for congee? Here, try a pot with our very best pickles. The king ate a lot. This thousand year egg will make the prince strong. It will bring him good fortune and help him live long. Yes, indeed, said the king. Come now, have a try. But the prince shook his head and said, No, not I. That night in his room, the king sat up in bed. We'll take him to Zambia. That's it, he said. A safari will give him a huge appetite. Oh, fa la la la, I know I am right. The prince loved adventures. He met his first giraffe. He licked the king's crown and made them all laugh. He woke up a lion that gave a great roar, then closed its eyes tight and continued to snore. He met herds of zebra and wild will the beast. And now, said the king, it's time for our feast. Their breakfast was served on beautiful leaves with fresh fried plantain and fruit from the trees. At the sight of, the, at the sight of fresh fruit, the prince sealed his lips tight. The king was dismayed. He said, this is not right. The, this plantain is perfect, said, the queen said. Do try. But the prince shook his head and said, no, not I. The queen was distraught. Let's go home, she sighed. Our boy is still picky, whatever we try. Just as she said this, a bright-eyed old man said, perhaps I can help. I believe that I can. Then he pulled a red bottle from deep in his case, winked at the prince and said, fancy a taste? 
What's this? asked the prince. It smells so delicious. Oh dear, from the queen. Are you sure it's nutritious? I think, said the man. There's no cause for alarm. A dash of this ketchup will do him no harm. I eat it with everything from rhubarb to rice. Mmm, said the prince. It tastes really nice. He poured it on pancakes. He sprayed it on bread. The king was so happy, he stood on his head. The queen gave a twirl and a trill of delight. The banquet continued all day and all night. From that morning on, whatever he ate, the prince added ketchup and cleaned up his plate. The end.